Welcome back to the channel and a happy new year. So it is the 1st of January 2023. So I wanted to share with you my plans for this year for the Armor Brick City and everything that is below of it. So let's start from the city first. So let's look at this area. So definitely the small improvements that will be done here, I will try to finalize this winter uh, building. I think it fits really well in this corner. So I just need to finalize and put it here. Also some lights are missing in the buildings. So I will add that. Not sure if Avengers Tower will stay here, but let's see. Then, we do have an extra space left, so new modular uh, was released, so I do expect that it will be placed somewhere right here. Of course, I do think that uh, some kind of reshuffling will be done with the buildings, just to maintain uh, the correct angles of, of those. So, But still, I'm planning to add it to this uh, area. Then, if we will go right here, my plan is to get rid of the uh, Monkey Kids set, uh, the, the city of, of uh, Lanterns or how it is called, I do not recall it correctly, but this will be off here. Also, the same will apply, unfortunately, to Amusement Park. So it will need to go somewhere else. I do not know where, but it will go. And instead of uh, those uh, parks that we have, there will be some new buildings coming up. Maybe small pond or river will be introduced as well, because I want to put the Venetian houses right here. And also huge changes are coming right here, because I want to change the Eiffel Tower, the old version, to the new one which is laying somewhere near on the ground which is built already so i just need to you know to replan and to change it so definitely this uh, district will change significantly we will have uh, more walkways we will have new eiffel tower we will have probably river or a pond we will have uh, those venetian houses we will have something more added because I do believe that more things will be coming up uh, this year. So this area will be impacted quite a lot. Also, what I'm planning to do is uh, do more mills plating. So I will replace some of uh, the buildings with the mills plate and we'll try to fix the road to, to match it to the mills plate by raising it a bit. So changes will follow up and again it's a small project but it will be needed for sure then if we will go to the right side of the city i'm planning to incorporate the lighthouse into sea and beach area so let's see how it will go definitely i'm limited here but i've already made some kind of compromise i do not know what will be there but as you can see there is new table that is right here it is a bit lower than the sea level so i'm planning to have a underwater scene probably a coral reef right here but i'm not uh, fully convinced yet if it is, should be uh, on this table or it should be where the airports and the planes are just below the uh, sea and beach area so i will need to think but definitely i do have some place to create something underwater so yeah first one is to move the lighthouse to free up the space for uh, other modular that could fit right here and to incorporate it there probably there instead of uh, the pirate uh, tavern that is there 
Okay, so let's move on deeper into the city and think what can be done this year. We are here in the downtown and I have already plans to do some adjustments with this park. Although park is really good in the city, but I want to save some space. And I, when I was saying that I will remove the monkey kit set of the city, from this area, I am planning actually to incorporate these two sets together. I found a replicable uh, model and it looks really good where both sets are incorporated. So it means that I will add extra height on this. It will not be as plain as it is right now, but it should be looking really nice. The only downside is that I will not be able to see fully the buildings that are right there at the back uh, to the walls, so they will be a bit hidden when this park will go up. But let's see how it will go out. So definitely interesting thing that will be built. And besides that, this area will remain as is. No changes uh, are planned to be done. So, yeah, let's go to the other side and look what we can do there. And we are here on the right side of the city where we have the haunted district. We have the uh, tree house. We do have some residential buildings, the smaller ones. And we do have Vesta's wind turbine. So what I'm planning to do is to make a waterfall that goes into the sea and beach area and to cover these gaps with some rocks or something like that. So I do think that it is a necessary thing to do just to have a transition between the city and the sea and beach area. So this will be done and I do you think that that will be it for the city as such? Another change that I'm planning is to work quite a lot on the metro or the trains. So I've already built uh, two uh, sets of the new 2022 uh, high-speed trains. So I'm planning to add it to the uh, rails. So definitely there will be more buildings coming up and I want to hide these legs probably with something that is brick built and to add more details, to add more tracks where the trains could fit. Also, as you know, there's a cargo train that I also need to fit it. So definitely I will be working with this quite a lot. And Good that it is just start of the year because plans for this room is really enormous. So if we look down, we can see uh, new platforms that were created for medieval scenes or medieval village. So definitely I will be working on those. I will be adding base plates, I will be adding mountains, I will be adding uh, some castles that are still you know in the boxes like the new newly released one and i'm planning to build some mocks from rebrickable so definitely it will be a huge step and it will be a really nice scene that i want to achieve of course it is not that this small area it goes right here we where we do have the Hogwarts castles, we do have Angry Birds castle, uh, then we do have some random sets that should be removed, like the carousel and, and the uh, Arkham Asylum and the tuning shop, which will be eventually incorporated to the city, I think. And we have the full army of uh, Black Falcons that are waiting for the battle that will be or just protection of the medieval village let we will let's 
we will see what will be there of course i would um, like to have other knights as well the army of those and have a war scene but well we will see anyhow if you be looking at the right there's an airport and the planes uh, I do think that it, the planes occupies a lot of uh, space in the city. So my goal is uh, this year to hang at least two planes under the armor brick city. So somewhere right there up in the ceiling. And just to have, you know, that they are flying and just eliminate uh, those planes from right here. So. As I mentioned, either it will be a, a kind of a coral reef under this uh, table, or it will be, you know, underwater theme right here. So, yeah, let's see. And then let's move to the last part of this room, which is Christmas Village or Winter Village. Here it is. So... My plan is to rip this again apart, add the base plates, add the mountains, uh, combine some of the sets like the New Year sets, uh, that wall and the ice skating ring could be combined into one. Uh, so again, model from Rebrickable. There are copies of, of the Winter Village sets that could be combined. So yeah, definitely I need to think about it and prepare and start working even in summer or spring without waiting for the winter so this area definitely will get some changes and they will be huge so i think we covered most of the parts of the scenes let's check what else we missed and we missed the uh, only thing is the shelving so we do have some shelving that was added during 2022 so i'm planning to add a uh, few uh, stands for the minifigures just to transfer it right here so it will be you know displayed with the lead lightning so it will be much better than they are now in uh, just you know standing somewhere in the shelf so of course the rear sets will go right here some of the books so definitely mm, those dragons will be replaced with something else eventually but again i do think that this area will change as well especially i do like the idea with the minifigures with the uh frames with the lead lightning where you can add about 100 minifigs which will be really awesome so yeah so these are the plans for the 2023 of course i do believe that they will change according to what we will get from lego officially or what we will get from rebrickable so definitely let's see and i do believe that uh, i will need to expand my uh, place for for the architecture series because they are not fitting so probably extra shelf will be added right there and the end but let's see so definitely 2022 was a great year but i do expect that 2023 will be much more exciting as we will be building more custom stuff more things to come so stay tuned thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe and see you soon in the next video where i will be uh, kind of acting on what i said today so i will be doing some of the projects that were mentioned right here so thank you guys and have a good year goodbye